welcome to the very special edition of Hidden in the Universal Vault. Now, as you can probably tell, I'm wearing my lovely Minion t-shirt. Yes, we got Minion Stewart right now holding his lovely bananas. And I thought what's fitting for this, we'll take a look at the sequel to the prequel I covered last time. As we take a look at the prequel to Minions with Minions The Rise of Gru. I'm finally covering Minions Rise of Gru. And let me tell you something. This was good. Well, good as in I liked it. I don't think this is as strong. Let me put that right there so you can see it. Yeah, Minions Rise of Gru. I don't really think this movie is as strong as if I were to really judge the, uh, the first Minions prequel. But in the end, I think it's a really fun little film. Basically, this time, we're decades later, as we now hit the 1970s, 1976, as we're now focused to the character Gru. Once again, voiced by Steve Carell. I think he's really made this character something special. I think he's, Steve Carell was great in all these movies. I am going to cover the, thir the first three, since I haven't covered them on the channel. So I decided I'm going to watch them backwards. I'm going to watch, I watched Minions last time. Now I'm watching Rise of Gru, and I'm going to watch 1, 2, and 3 later on in the coming weeks. But, basically, it starts out, we're introduced to the Vicious Six, led by Bell Bottoms, voiced by Tasha P. Henson. So this cast is really, this voice cast is really strong. In addition to Tasia P. Henson, we also have, we also have Dolph Lundgren, Danny Treyu, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and Xena Warrior Princess Lucy Lawless in the voice cast. I was really surprised that, oh, and Alan Ark plays the main guy, Wild Knuckles. In the beginning, we're introduced to them, but Wild Knuckles is like, their plan is to go to another another part of the world, I for, uh, Central America or Central, somewhere around there, to get this, like, medallion. And this medallion is the main focus of this film. What I really did, and they they go for the underground, turns out they don't need him no more. He got the medallion for all that work, and he's like, I came up with this. Like, not no more, old man. They cut the rope, and he falls down. Then we get a montage of its opening, and I gotta say, it's great. After that opening, we're introduced to a young Gru. Uh, they say it's 12B. I think he's a 12-year-old in this. Is he? Yeah, he's a 12-year-old boy. Though, I thought he was 11, but he's 11, 12, somewhere around there. So, he doesn't have a lot of friends, so he gets his minions, which they call him Mini Boss. Instead of calling him Big Boss, they call him Mini Boss, like in the, like in the previous films. So, really, 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 really solid film. And the climax is really, really good. I caught, it caught like sort of a, sort of a twist in it. But, yeah, so, the one scene I did like is where he, Otto gets the medallion, but he basically decides to trade it for a pet rock, since pet rocks were popular in the 70s, because 1970s, I guess. So, he gets a pet rock, but Gru's not pleased and says, get out, I hope my mother kicks you all out. So, he's on his own, and then all of a sudden, a man comes. He is kidnapped. He's basically kidnapped and held by his hero, Wild Knuckles, which he's excited he got kidnapped. My kidnapper is my hero! So, he realizes that he got the medallion, so it's it's crazy. The voice cast is kind of interesting because half of them I didn't recognize. Like, Jean-Claude is one of the main villains. Yeah, and there's another character named Nunchuck. Like, Nunchucks? She's a nun with nunchucks. I'm like, that is so creative. The, uh, the beginning of it is really good with Sean, that motorcycle, but really good. Some of the cast does come back from the previous films. We have Julia Andrews playing the mom and Russell Brand, who would go on to play his boss if you watch those films. But Wild Knuckles basically helps him to become evil. Uh, Michelle Yeoh plays, I forget what character she is, uh, I forget. She's like this, uh, put a comment on the bottom if you know who it is. But 
She's just, she's just like master. So the minions are getting beat up by Wild Knuckles henchmen. So they head into Chinatown where they get beat up in this montage. Then you have Otto who's trying to get the medallion back. So he's on a kid, he's on a kid, he's on a kid trike. One of those like, no, he's on a big wheel. Grinding around here on a big wheel. So he bumps into this biker. Though oddly enough voiced by Riza. I thought Riza was kind of a weird choice in this movie. Again, it's I don't know. Just they wanted another another person to play the biker that they they meet. So Otto gets a ride in with the biker, and he becomes friends. The biker has braces. Otto has braces. So the connections like that. So yeah, really really fun movie. Their goal is basically just to get the medallion and. Craziness happens in that climax. Not going to give away the ending. You would just have to witness it yourself. But let's say that that battle was incredible. The CG was really good. Lumination Entertainment has just been a phenomenal job. Sure, the earlier movies are kind of dated, but they have improved with technology. I I personally think, though, though the first one kind of has dated CG. It was their first movie, so they were trying to... Uh, test out things. So, trying to think who else is in this movie. Who else was in this movie that I should know? Oh, Dolph Lundgren. I can't think of his name. He was really good. Some of the voice cast. Uh, like I said, Alan Arkin was in the movie. So, the voice cast, like I said, really saw the work. All, all of these actors um, are really good. But when I say it's my favorite CG movie that came out of last year... No, I would still put Bad Guys higher. I would still put Bad Guys as the highest moot. The best CG. But honestly, you can't go wrong with both movies. And honestly, both movies did not get any Oscar nominations. In fact, Bad Guys, last time I checked, did not receive no Oscar nominations. And I still think that is a very good, solid CG animated film, though. But definitely, definitely. Is this movie good? Yes. I see myself go back and watch this. Though I found this a little too short and went by really, really fast. I can't think to myself, that's it. That's it once we get past that. Although it was really cool to hear the, min the Minions sing all these songs in Minionlish, Which is really good. It's a clever way of, kind of like Simslish, but it's really, really clever. So, yeah. So I think that's all I'm gonna say. Is there any is there any parts I didn't like in the movie? Though I will say some of the voice cast sound a little bit different in it. But like I said again, it's a really, really solid film. I can't really fault anything wrong with it. Illumina Illumination Entertainment, all their movies have been good. Some have been okay. Some are better than others, I should say. But no. Regardless or not, the Illumination Studios, their movies are never bad. Their movies are entertaining. I think they're great summer. Some come out of the holiday season. Some come out in the summer. It, it just depends. I'm more or less just rambling on the film. I think, like I said, the writing's solid. Steve Carell is good as a lead. I think he really put together Gru. He, yeah, they did a pretty good job. So they didn't get some grade school kid to portray Gru. They got Steve Carell to be Gru in this. And I look forward to seeing where the next installment, though I think they should just stop by now because if they're going to keep continuing these movies, they're going to get worse in the end. So, as I pull this out, final verdict, should you see Minions, The Rise of Gru? Oh, hell yes. This movie, like I said, is really good. It came close to getting, this is still going to be in the good section. I'm going to do a good and bad section. But this is still good. I don't know if this is going to make my end of the year top list of what I watched this year for this channel. But I'm going to say it's movies like this that the reasons why I like doing Hidden in Universal Ball. Because I could discover movies from like adult films to horror films to drama to family movies. I discover every genre and that's why I love Universal Studios. Now, before I go ahead and sign off, I really want to kind of review these mini-movies. And I'm going to tell you right now, I did not care for these mini-movies. 
I think honestly, the one I kind of liked was Minions and Monsters, but I just I didn't find much humor in those. They're not as good as the other Minion mini movies, but they're a great way to watch. Let's say you want to rewatch this again, but you just want to watch the mini movies and this. Now I'm not sure if these mini movies played in theaters. I didn't see this in theaters, so I can't really give tell you about it, but like I said, it's really good. Uh, not much in discard. You don't really get discard in this. Though, another weird thing is they decide to change aspect ratio. And that kind of really does irk me a little bit. Uh, I'll put that right back there. Kind of just irks me a little bit. There we go. It kind of just irks me a little bit uh, that they had to change the ratio. The previous ones were in a 185. In fact, or 178, however you want to say. Minions was in the 178. I think they look better like that. They could have done like Nope and had those action scenes with like IMAX specific uh, design. But like I said many times, this is still a good animated film. Just, we'll just say it's good. I don't want to say great. I don't want to say that. I still think out of all these, I would probably put Minions and the third Despicable Me We'll get to that one later in the coming week, so I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much for watching Let me know what you think of this movie. Did you guys like this movie? Let me know, and come back with the next video. I'll have another, I'll have another review up tomorrow, or as soon as I get the internet back, I'll be able to upload these videos. I got a lot of back videos to get caught up, so that's it. Thank you again for watching, and I'll talk to you, talk to that. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.